Hello, morning everyone. Welcome back to Amy's Trading Journals. Today is 10th December 2020, Thursday. Uh, what we're going to talk about today? Um, market weather about today, we say it finally begins to run. Later, we check the details for US, Singapore, Malaysia, and also Hong Kong. Then, for individual stocks, if for US market, we got the yellow tai chi for Nasdaq. Then what will become of the high tech companies like Apple and Tesla? Because these are the uh, important component stocks for the US uh, Nasdaq and also for S and P five hundred, right? And also for BioNTech. Yesterday I mentioned about the news, the bad news for BioNTech. It used to drop to quite a low level for BioNTech and. For short term, the target, the, the support, let's say the strong support level is around $1,019.19 US dollar. Later, I show you the details. And then for Singapore market, individual stocks, is it the time to sell uh, some banks like DBS, UOB, and OCBC, and also blue chips like SETS? And despite the correction for the index, today we see nanofilm. High beverage and Yuma still quite strong. They are up against the market general performance. So later we check the details. And the last part, last part is um, individual stock diagnosis, right? Uh, if you do have stocks to diagnose, especially at this critical timing, if you don't know whether or not you should sell your stocks, you can WhatsApp me uh, privately. You can write down. You can WhatsApp me. Uh, begin from now so that later I can diagnose for you your individual stocks Okay, so then let's check the market. We say uh, oh yes <laughs> This disclaimer don't forget all stocks mentioned in the video are for the purpose of demonstration and education No recommendation investors should be aware of the risks involved in stock trading and take full responsibilities for their own tradings Okay, so let's check the market performance for Nasdaq, right? So Last night, that's a very big correction for uh, Nasdaq last night. And we see it's also a yellow Tai Chi signal. The big drop last night is a yellow Tai Chi signal. If you are a homely member or you are familiar with Tai Chi, you know that yellow Tai Chi is the danger alert signal. We call it top escape. You see, previous time when the yellow tai chi appear, the price successfully dropped below the low of the yellow tai chi. That's a forceful correction, and it takes a while for the price finally break up the high price of the previous yellow tai chi. Right, so that's just recently, recent month that uh, price break up the previous yellow tai chi and give us a rally. Until now, we got another yellow tai chi. So by checking the history, you know the power of the yellow tai chi, right? So last night we got another tai chi signal. If tomorrow or uh, sorry tonight for US, the price drop below the low of the yellow tai chi, higher probability the correction might be a uh, significant one. At least for short term. They would, the price should correct to be what levels? The first target should be around the high price of the previous uh, yellow Tai Chi because previously this level is acting as um, resistance, right? Previously, the yellow Tai Chi, the high of the yellow Tai Chi, acting as resistance, resistance, resistance finally break up. And in future, the price, if it drop, 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 to touch the level, this would be a strong support. The first strongest support, and this is around eighty percent of the uh, Fib Golden retracement, right? So the value is around uh, eleven thousand nine hundred and ten. And uh, for the correction last night, that actually we have been expecting it, right? Because. In my previous videos recently, I already mentioned about this uh, extended golden section, which also would be the uh, fable, fable golden retracement, right? So 138.2% is the significant resistance level the price reached and then began to drop last night. So it is within our expectations. So nothing to worry about, nothing to feel, uh, nothing to be panicked about. It's the normal 
correction, at least for short term now. And we see the the, the potential target is around uh, the 80.9% 80 of the uh, fake golden retracement, which overlaps with the high price of the previous uh, yellow Tai Chi. The value is 11,910. Okay, so this is for uh, Nasdaq. Then for, give me a moment to erase the inks. Okay, so let, 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 next let's check uh, Dow Jones. Dow Jones also it touched or it reached 150% level of the fake golden retracement it, around 30,339 points. And then last night it began to drop. The drop is not as forceful as for Nasdaq. Uh, and now we see the price is around 138.2%. If the U.S. market really is going to correct in the near future for all the three indexes, then the target, first target, stronger resistance, significant resistance below is the uh, the uh, the let's say the previous upward gap, right? So this previous upward gap, we see the top of the gap is close to the 100% of the uh, fake golden retracement. The value is around 28,946 points. And then the bottom of this previous uh, gap, can you see the yellow box here? This is the previous gap, upward gap, right? The top is close to the 28,946 points. And the bottom of this gap is around uh, 28,414 points. Okay, this would be the future strong support level for the uh, correction in near future. Um, for S and P five hundred, we also see the price a it is very close to the one hundred fifty percent. It break up the one hundred thirty eight point two percent a bit, and then uh, yesterday begin to drop, right? So now the price is still around one hundred thirty eight point two percent of the. FIB golden retracement, but if the correction really is coming and the future target 100% of the FIB golden retracement, which overlaps with the previous uh, yellow Tai Chi signal, the roughly the same level as the previous high, slightly lower than the previous high of the yellow Tai Chi here, right? The value is around uh, 3,549 points. Okay, so if the U.S. market is going to uh, give us a correction in the near future, especially for Nasdaq, right? So especially for Nasdaq, we um, just now check yesterday. That's a new yellow Tai Chi signal, right? So if the correction really is coming for the U.S., then what 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 would come? What what would become of the uh, high tech companies. For example, recently I talked about Apple, right? So let's check the individual stocks now. For Apple, give me a moment. Okay, so for Apple, we say you check the recycle, the first recycle I said. Uh, if the price can break up the previous uh, yellow Tai Chi, right? You remember? Previously, I talked about Apple, and I said the Tai Chi signal here would be a resistance, the two Tai Chi previously, right? And it seems like now the price are unable to break up the yellow Tai Chi signal. So if you have bought here, then should should if we have bought, should we sell? That's a problem, right? That's a question. And uh, the I think the best strategy is for short term, for medium term to long term, to long term, it would be a different. The strategies we take should be different. For short term trading, if really the correction would come for US, I think better we should leave first. Yes, that's, that's for short term. Okay, and for medium term to long term, if you already bought, right, so you can uh, check the, the yellow lines of homely rainbow.
the yellow lines of homely rainbow would be a uh, very strong support here. The value is around uh, 117.33 dollar US dollar okay 117.33 that's the last yellow line for medium term uh, to long term trading as long as the price remain above the yellow rainbow lines should be okay the medium term trend still should be okay so is it possible that the price drop below the yellow line support if the correction in near future really is a false for one then also it's possible that the price might drop to the next target the blue line the first blue line is around 113 dollar 17 cents 113 dollar 17 cents so means if let's say you really are planning to hold for medium term to long and you have bought recently maybe your final target is around the your final stop loss is around the first the blue line uh, if the price really dropped to that level i think get support turn upward again you can de-increase position because after all this correction the, this possible correction for near future is regarded at uh, as a short-term correction right currently it's still a short-term correction after it is uh and it, it, it is finished okay there will be another rally so even if the yellow lines here cannot hold i think very high probability the blue lines here can hold the price get support turn upward again for those medium term to long term investors you can increase position once the price get support and then begin to go up again that's for medium term to long term for short term i think we better wait until the price uh, after the correction, all right. After the correction, next time if the price go back above the yellow lines again, maybe we can consider to buy again. Of course, we still need to pay attention to the yes, the Tai Chi signal here, the two yellow Tai Chi signal. Next time the price begin to go up again, still there would be a resistance. All right, but we for short term trading we need to talk by then. Now it's early to talk for short term trading because for short term, uh, very likely that it would correct in near future. If the U.S. index is correct, I think Apple and uh, other high tech companies like uh, Facebook or Google, Amazon, uh, they also high probability would <laughs> drop first, would crack the first. Okay uh okay so this is for um, apple and also uh tesla all right do you remember yesterday i mentioned tesla i said when do we uh consider to sell i said wait for the future yellow tai chi signal right so interesting the yellow tai chi signal come today yesterday i mentioned wait for the tai chi then today the tai chi really come all right so it's a forceful correction last night for tesla and because of its uh, uh, strong downward momentum we call the yellow tai chi because it's already very high then so such strong momentum then we get the tai chi signal danger alert signal i think for short-term trading it's about a time to consider sell so one exactly do we sell one thing is you check the yellow tai chi the low price let's say tonight if the price drop below the low of the yellow tai chi uh definitely we can take profit for short-term trading now i'm talking about just a short-term trading right for medium term to long if you have bought let's say here all right and then what you can do is you can actually sell partially no need to sell all of your positions you sell partially to take profit for the short term but for medium term to long term you still can hold because after the correction uh no 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 doubt that in future the price will turn upward again and the support obviously we got the yellow lines here would be a very strong support if the correction come in near future it really drop and then the yellow lines would definitely provide very strong support for the price very possible or very likely that the price get support would turn upward again okay so that's for tesla short term you check the low price of the 
yellow Tai Chi. For medium term to long, yes, you can just uh, um, hold or sell partially uh, and still keep part of your positions. Okay? And also, you can check uh, the circle for short term, red and white circle, right? So I think uh, the signal uh, provided by the white, uh, by the red and white circle and the Tai Chi would be the same. Because if the price drop below the low of the yellow Tai Chi, also the price would be uh, would, uh, below the red circle, then the circle would turn to white. And the first white circle is the sell point for short term trading, right? So either you check first the white circle or you check the low price of the yellow Tai Chi, you will be able to get a definite sell signal for short-term trading for Tesla, all right? And then uh, this is for blue chips like Google, uh, sorry, for Apple and Tesla. I think uh, if you go some other high-tech companies, uh, for short-term, you need to check the indicators to decide whether or not you should sell for short-term, all right? Uh, I'm just showing you examples because too many uh, tech companies, I cannot uh, check them one by one, all of them for you, all right? So if you have stocks to diagnose, you can uh, WhatsApp me now or you uh, you can also contact me later after this uh, live broadcast is finished, all right? And then, uh, and for BioNTech, right? So for BioNTech, yesterday we got, I mentioned the, the bad news about BioNTech yesterday because six uh, people uh, who have... Uh, have taken who have been injected uh, the Pfizer's vaccine um, they died right but I have read the news carefully yesterday I already told you yesterday four of these uh, six people they 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 didn't really get this um, vaccine injection they get a placebo right they, they didn't get the vaccine so means the death has nothing to do with the vaccine and if you check the proportion, four people died for other reasons. The rest the two, they they do have got they they really have uh, got the injection. But the news it didn't say that they die because of the vaccine. They take they have got the vaccine that's for sure. But whether or not they died because of the vaccine, it didn't say it didn't tell us. So not sure, right? So actually. This is not really very bad news, right? But you know, the market always is irrational. The investors, especially retailers, they are always irrational. Even a hint of bad news might cause some panic. So the, the low, lower shadow, the long lower shadow last night is uh, within expectation, but I think the trend, the general trend is still okay. So it, the news it hasn't yet uh, totally, let's say, um, uh, changed the current uptrend, the current uptrend situation. I think it's still okay. But if, let's say, uh, really more and more people begin to sell this one, right? And when do we consider to sell for Biontech? The, Target is around the half level of this previous uh, two bullish and bearish candles here. So this is long bullish candle, long bearish candle, the half level. Okay, so here, the half level is around uh, $19.19, okay, $19.19. Okay? Uh, that's why just now I said the target for Biontech is around $19.19 because that's roughly the half of these previous two uh, long candles. And do you remember I, my cost, my cost for Biontech? I, have, I, I bought $119.43, right? I shared with you previously. Then now you understand why I, I have bought at around that level because that's very close to the half of these previous two uh, long candles. So if my cost is low, it's very close to the strong support here, then even if the price is drop, 
to be low uh, a drop to my stop loss level which is the half of the two long candles right i stop loss i will not lose much this is why i always emphasize never chase after the rally because if you chase after the rally your position is high your cost is high right then if the market a drop then you easily you will get stuck you will be stuck there so that's why for me my my cost for it i make i have managed to make it around the half of these two long bearish uh, two long candles one bullish one bearish they are at the same level right the reason is i want to keep my cost low so that uh, it will be uh, just my stop loss level if i stop loss when the price drop below this level i will not lose much that's the reason all right so i share with you my strategy uh, how to uh, deal with uh, buy and tech, right? But I think the the influence shouldn't be so great influence. The new influence of the news, right? Shouldn't be very great influence for buy and tech. High probability, I, I I believe the price would turn up or again in near future. Maybe it really would drop to touch the half level, but I think it would not be that easy for the price to drop below the level. And even if it drops below, doesn't matter because this is my cost. I just stop loss. All right, I will not lose much. Okay, uh, this is for uh, BioNTech for U.S. market. Then how about Singapore? Singapore market, we uh, we just now already checked the index, right? So if STI really begin to give us the uh, correction, because if the U.S. drop, other markets follow. So. The possible correction here really it come then means for the blue chips, especially for the bank stocks, it's about the time you consider sell because we already got the Tai Chi signal, right? It's one week ago we got a blue Tai Chi for DBS, and then although the price it didn't really drop below the low of the. Uh, tai Chi, let me remove the circle for you to see more clearly, all right? But I think if re recently the market drop, it's sure, surely that the banks would uh, drop and the price would drop below the low of the Tai Chi. For short term, you better take profit for short term. But this is for short term. For medium term to long term, uh, the same strategy I shared with you for Apple and Tesla. You can take profit partially. Because DBS, this kind of blue chips, would be a good, uh, good, uh, let's say good stocks to consider hold for medium term to long term trading to invest. Because now we are already in medium term to long term bullish market. In so market already reverse reverse to bullish. So for this kind of blue chips, you can hold for medium term to long, right? But we also want to secure our short-term profit. That's why I said take profit partially, all right, for DBS. And for the other two banks, it's the same. You check yourself, all right. Um, uh, then also we got previously sets already gave us a very forceful rally. And also we got the blue Tai Chi. It's already, I think, two weeks ago we got the blue Tai Chi. After that, the price is just sideways around the low price of the blue Tai Chi. Uh, and the correction comes in the near future, the price will drop below the level, and we would have a correction. And the first target, of course, would be the blue line here. First, second, third, fourth blue line, and the blue line, uh, sorry, yellow line, all right? First, second, third, and fourth yellow line, and the yellow line and the blue line, they um, overlap partially. So the white lines here, sorry, the white lines here would be very strong support, okay? And yellow line support first, then if the support at the yellow line cannot hold, it will drop to the uh, white lines. And if the price really dropped to that low, I think they, this would be perfect uh, timing to consider enter again for uh, DBS, uh, OCBC, uh, UOB, and also a good blue chips like sets. All right. So uh, once the correction finished, that's the timing, golden time to consider buy again because now it's high. We are actually expecting the correction all the time. Finally, it comes. That's a good thing. Definitely, 
it's a good thing. So I feel happy. I'm very happy uh, about this uh, possible correction with which is coming now. All right. Uh, if we check the real time uh, for DBS and for sets, I this morning I checked. It just dropped a bit for DBS. It didn't really drop much, right? That's because for our index. Uh, SDI, it didn't drop much until now, but if really US begin to drop sharply in the near future, also SDI would follow and those banks would drop, give us very forceful corrections. Alright, so uh, then sets. Sets also, it didn't drop much until now, but it, it is possible that the correction might become uh, more forceful in the near future. Okay, so this is for the Singapore blue chips like banks and sets, good blue chips like sets, how should we deal? Short term, we better consider take profit. Medium term to long, you uh, it depends, okay? If you don't want to sell all of them, all your position, take profit partially. Okay, uh, then uh, this is for a Singapore blue chips. Then how about the, uh, is it that all the stocks begin to drop? Actually, we got nano film today, still quite a strong rally. Yes. So you see, for nano film, uh, if you have uh, followed my video, right? So I mentioned about this stock uh, on, uh, I think it's 20, around 26 November, after the price break up the previous high with a gap. So I mentioned this, right? So around that date, and then if you have uh, been paying attention, you have uh, entered, right? Then you actually can keep holding. It's still quite strong. This is a new share, right? The IPO is just uh, uh, a short time ago. In one month, uh, yeah, that's just roughly one month. One month. The IPO date is uh, uh, October 30th, right? So this one, you see, still strong, still can keep holding. If we turn to wide circle in the future, take profit for short term. If it's red circle, keep holding. Okay, so um, then this is the one stock that goes against the general market performance. I also got other two. Uh, uh, one is, uh, which one? Uh, let me check again. Uh, the other is, uh, this morning I was checking, yes, Thai Beverage and also Yuma. Okay, so if we check Thai Beverage, Y92. Okay, so uh, this is the end of day. Let's go to the real time. Okay, so Thai Beverage is interesting because it showed us the first race circle today. All right. It did, it sat with it for a while still. It sat with it already for two weeks roughly. And today, it gave us the first race circle. And this first race circle, the price seems like it's going to break up the consolidation platform here. First race circle, and big boys take full control. And maybe this one in the near future, it would be the minority who would go up against the general market trend. It has such potentiality. Still, we of course we need to uh, uh, monitor whether or not. Let's say after the first fall rally today, tomorrow the price can clear the high of today. If tomorrow the close price can clear the high price of today candle, that's the confirmation to buy based on re and y circle the buy point, right? And this is for short term re and y circle for short term trading. This one we can. It, it, it's, it's worth our attention. Really, we can monitor this one in the near future, how it would fare, okay? And then uh, another is called uh, Yoma, right? So Yoma, um, it has been quite weak previously all the time for a while, right? So let's check the end of day first for this one. Yoma. Okay, so for Yoma, why this one may have opportunity because now we see all the 16 lines of a uh, homely rainbow you see all the lines they gather together right so this is the famous homely uh, trading strategy based on homely rainbow which is called 
the gathering of、uh, sixteen lines. This is a very powerful pattern. If big boys in future it uh, uh, begin to enter, it participate again. Let's say the red bar more than twenty five percent again. Maybe this one would give us a forceful rally. It has the potentiality. But if the big boys they never really enter, they never really participate, then still no hope, right? For you, ma. So now we are waiting for the big boys coming. For the big boys enter, and we see today, although a, we see today, although it's it's a forceful rally today, it's more uh more than five percent right rally today. But we 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 have the big boys yes a bit come a bit. If you check the value, that's six percent. It's still uh some distance uh until it can reach. Twenty five percent, right? So twenty five percent for the、uh, big boys is a very significant uh, uh, percentage to check. If the big boys can reach twenty five and also can even remain stably around twenty five, this is the effective cheap collection by the big institutions. So now we can keep closer eye on it to see whether or not. Yes, in near future the big boys can reach twenty five percent. If in if that is the case, then this one may give us、uh, great opportunities in future. But now it's still a bit early to say it can give us very forceful rally in future. We are waiting for the big boys, right, to see whether or not the big boys can come. And、um, actually, apart from U Multi, is another U、uh, Singapore stock give us the similar pattern. Yang Zijiang, right? You see, you see, it's the same similar pattern. For Yang Zijiang, we see、uh, also the sixteen lines. They are quite close to each other, right? So、uh, this is not as perfect, perfect gathering as the、uh, Yuma. Yuma is a very perfect gathering because you see all the sixteen lines. You cannot tell one from the other. But for Yang Zijiang, you still see the lines. Quite clearly, right? So the gathering is not as great as the Yuma, but still it is the gathering of sixteen lines. We also are waiting for the big boys. You see, without the big boys participants, no chance, no big rallies. Okay. So for today, I think Yang Zhang today it went up or it dropped. Yes, it continued to go up. That's a good sign. For short term, you see today is even the. Second race ago, right? But we really need big boys. Without big boys, this rally here is not that reliable, right? It's not that reliable. But it has the potentiality. Okay, then, uh, yes, that's all about today's uh contents. Let me check. Do you have stocks to diagnose for today? Uh. Uh okay, so someone asked about snow, right? Snowflake, right? So the the cloud, uh, stock, right? So the cloud, snowflake. Okay, snowflake. Snowflake, we got the yellow tai chi for sure, right? We got the yellow tai chi already, and also the price now is touching the red circle. Red circle here is the support, but if the price drop below the red circle, it will turn to white. For short term trading, we should leave. And you see the interesting thing: the 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 circle here and the half level of the long bullish candle they overlap. And this level is also the low price of the yellow tai chi. You see. Different methods they can verify each other. Either you check the low price of the yellow tai chi, or you check the white the 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 potential、uh, first white circle in future, or you check the half level of the long bullish candle. They are the same. Like they tell you the same level, the same price, which is the、uh, low price of the、uh, the yellow tai chi, which is a three hundred sixty one dollar. Yes, three hundred sixty-one dollar. Okay, so that's the、uh, short-term sell point. If the price drop begin to drop tonight, that's the sell point. All right, tonight can sell. 
short term you already secure the profit here right okay so this is for uh, snow right uh, okay then uh, sh uh, let's check do we have some other stocks to diagnose okay so uh, some people want to buy a uh, plug blink and d-o-y-u okay let's check uh, i think uh, the current market situation if the short term uh, we have the potential very put, uh, uh, the, the likely coming correction here right so better we uh, we buy less we sell more buy less and even if you really want to buy, you really need to keep your uh, position light, small, just a small, small capital. Don't invest too much because the correction here for short term, now we're not sure how forceful it, it would be. It might be, right? So, yes, for this plug, uh, you see, after the first recycle, we don't have the confirmation based on the recycle. No buy points. So, we better wait for the confirmation. Right? If we get the confirmation, you can try, but smaller position. Don't put too much money because currently the general market performance very likely to be downward, at least for short term. So better we um, control our risks, control our, we control our risks by keeping the uh, position light. Okay? This is for plug. And then for Blink, I think the EV uh, sector, right? So it, maybe it's about the time uh, to correct for this sector. It's about the time for, for EV stocks to have a rise because the rally previously already been too forceful, too big. It will be uh, safer or healthier uh, for the EV sector to rise a while than after they got enough rice, the next time maybe we can consider to buy again. Then you see blink. Although we have the first recycle, we don't have the confirmation to buy. Right? No confirmation to buy. Better not better not to buy, especially at the current critical situation. The currently the market is a is at a critical uh, turning point. Okay? And also you check the previous yellow tai chi signal, the price A. If it cannot break up or clear the high of the previous yellow tai chi, still no hope. All right. So this is for blink. And the other thing is you check uh, multicolor dragon retailers never disappear. Also means may not be uh, very safe to buy now. All right. And then the other one is D O Y U. D O Y U. Are you intending to do some bottom catch? Oh, I think, oh yes. If you want to do bottom catch, that would be quite aggressive method. But it doesn't mean that uh, we cannot do. You should check your own situation. If you have rich experience in the market, you a very fast trader. You can respond very fast, react to the price changes very fast means you're good at short-term speculation, right? Maybe this one you still can consider to do bottom catch because we got the blue Tai Chi. Blue Tai Chi is the opposite of the yellow Tai Chi. So you see how powerful the Tai Chi signal at the top? Yellow Tai Chi, top escape. The following day, sell immediately. You see, avoid a big correction. And then when the price get a support at the white lines of homely rainbow, you see? White lines of homely rainbow, right? Get support. Then we have the blue Tai Chi signal. And last night, the price is successfully stand above the high of the blue Tai Chi signal. This actually is regarded as a confirmed bottom catch buy point. But I already mentioned, this is the aggressive uh, uh, trading method for those who are good at short-term speculation. If you are not that type, maybe it's not your best choice. Best, uh, uh, best choice. But if you are, you can follow the indicators here to trade and stop loss. Stop loss level, of course, would be uh, the range between the high and the low of the blue tai chi. Right? If in near future. 
we allow some corrections in near future. But if the price drop below the low of the previous uh, uh, of this yellow tai chi, no hope for this line. Means the bottom catch field, you better uh, stop loss. All right, share with you the uh, risks and the chances for this one. Also the uh, stop loss level already. All right. So uh, do you have some other stock to check today? Okay, so if no other stock to check, uh, then I will call it a day. But before we uh, finish, right? So yesterday I mentioned about the uh, the public seminars prepared especially for non-members because for those seminars uh, designed for members, they are not open. Even if you want to attend them, you are not a member, you don't have the... Uh, access to the member classes uh, and we do have the open for public ones these ones you can try and um, Saturday morning Saturday morning one that is uh, conducted by a master we invited from China and this one will tell you how to grab the chance of the crazy bull this is a very good uh, seminar because it's not like every day we can invite some masters from China to uh, give you sessions. The reason we invite the master is because uh, double 11, December the 12th, that is the 11 year anniversary for Homely Chart Singapore. Singapore, uh, with a Homely Chart, it landed in Singapore um, on December 12th, 2009. It's 11 year anniversary. That's why we invite the special guest from China. Master Chen Chao is very uh, experienced, advanced lecturer in our homely group. All right. And then uh, Sunday, Sunday afternoon, that session also is con conducted by our senior lecturer, uh, Miss Linda Wong. This one will focus more on the U.S. market. If you're interested in U.S. market or you are trading U.S. market, you definitely, definitely don't want to miss this uh, session, right? This is uh, Sunday afternoon, 2 to 4 p.m. All right, if you want to attend any of these two sessions or you want to attend them all, uh, you can WhatsApp me. This is my WhatsApp number, 6592312300. Seven, all right. And also, if you like my video today, don't forget to share with your friends because your motiv your encouragement will always be my biggest uh, motivation. All right. That's all for today. Looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. Bye bye.